the situation we faced was the place uh, Mahindra Satyam was literally crawling with investigating agencies. There was the crime branch of the criminal department of uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh. There was CBI. There was Serious Fraud Investigation Office. There was SEBI. There was Directorate of Enforcement. There was Security Exchange Commission. And not to, uh, last and uh, not the least, the Income Tax Department. Uh, so these were the agencies, along with Registrar of Companies, which were examining and reviewing all the wrongdoings which had happened for the last eight years, 10 years, 12 years. Take your guess. There has been explicit and implied criticism that Mahindra Satyam was less than transparent in what was going on in the company. Uh, this has been both explicit and implied. I would want, to, what CP has said, I would just want you to consider the magnitude of the task. We, in, we ourselves employed 100, and for, 100 forensic investigators to go through the accounts. Think of the data to be scanned. 270,000 full file cabinets full of box files. It was around 30 terabyte of data. 2 million emails to be reviewed. 300 computer dr drives to be scanned and data imaged and scrutinized. One billion lines of transaction data to be secured and analyzed. Bank confirmations, bank reconciliation in regard to 200 bank accounts. Not one, not two, 200 bank accounts. And when we started the restatement, we had to look at around 7,500 inflated invoices, 200,000 line items of adjustment, 300 different types of accounts to be impacted, 7,000 contracts to be reviewed. So just think of it. And think also of the fact that most of this data was with CBI. And we had only partial access to it for a while and limited time access for it thereafter. That too after seeking court intervention. So if I look at all that, I would say what we have done is what the finance department of this company has done is amazing, along with the consultants who worked with them. CP talked about companies which have gone through similar frauds. But other than Enron, I don't think anyone came as close to both the magnitude and the complexity of the fraud as we have here.